the needle needs to be controlled by both your thimble and the quick quilter simultaneously. This will take a little practice because it's timing. Taking control means that you can move the needle back and forth with both tools when the sandwich is on the needle. This eliminates the need to feel if the needle has gone through the three layers. The needle tip has caught the back lip of the quick quilter. The further you push your needle away from yourself, the smaller your stitch will be. When you are first practicing this technique, it's much more important to understand the technique and be able to do it. Don't worry about your stitches until after you have practiced and become familiar with it. All your concentration needs to be focused on technique for now. When you are comfortable with how far back to push your needle to make a stitch, rock the eye of the needle down. The tip of the needle will glide up and over the ridge of the quick quilter. As soon as the needle has broken the surface of the quilt, stop pushing the needle and pull the quick quilter towards you as it remains under the hoop. Rock the needle tip back into the sandwich and bring the quick quilter to meet the tip of the needle again. Rock the eye of the needle down and let the tip ride up and over the ridge to break the surface again.